Hey everyone, RJ here with CV Tech, and today I'll be doing a gaming test here on the LG Stylo 4. This is the Boost Mobile version with the MediaTek processor, so let's go ahead and get in with this test. So I got the Stylo 4 on here. I got five games I want to play. Uh, ranging from least graphic intense to the most graphic intense. Now I am using an external microphone, so if you hear a few pops or crackles, I do apologize for that. Um, now this is the Stylo 4 on Boost Mobile, and it does run the MediaTek processor. And I've seen a lot of bad comments about the MediaTek processor, how it can compare to the Snapdragon on Metro or Cricket or whatever. But honestly, it's not a bad processor. Just because it's MediaTek does not mean that it's automatically bad. Uh, it does actually work pretty well. So let's go ahead and get in with this gaming test starting here with Dead Trigger. So I will try to make this look as good as possible here uh, to give you the best possible gaming test. So right now we have this here set. I will turn up the volume just a little bit. Um, not a whole lot, but enough to maybe you can hear it a little bit. Uh, so, ready to play now. So, just adjust a little bit there. So, like I said, I've done played Dead Trigger on other videos. And honestly, Dead Trigger is a game where you're not going to experience really any hiccups. It's going to play just fine. As you see right here, I mean, the, I mean the, the screen is amazing on this phone. It really... The screen is one of the best things about the Stylo 4, in my personal opinion. The screen just looks really good, and honestly, playing this little least graphic intense game here, like De like Dead Trigger, plays it just fine without any hiccups. Uh, so as you see right there, it works fine, pans around just good. So there you go. Let's go ahead and go back home here now, and we will go ahead and open up Sonic. Uh, I love this game here, so let's go, let's go ahead and get this here set up, and I will come back when it's set up. Okay, so we are actually now on the game. Got to touch the start, and uh, we'll play this little zone here to see how well it does. So, plays very smooth here on Sonic. This is not a very graphic intense game either, and it does seem to play very well without really any issue. As you can see right here, it just seems to do very, very well. Very easy to cover the speaker up on the bottom as well if you ain't careful about playing games. So of course now I gotta do a little bonus round here uh, as I always do. I didn't last long. Anyway, that is Sonic. Uh, and you see right there it plays very well with no hiccups, no problems whatsoever. Now we'll go ahead and open up Asphalt 9. And so I will go ahead and get this here all set up and I will come back when it's ready to roll. Okay, so we're on here now ready to play uh, Asphalt 9. Now Asphalt 9 looks a whole lot better than Asphalt 8 ever did. Uh, I like the way it's, uh, the graphics is a lot better. Yeah, I don't need instructions. But it looks very smooth here uh, on my end. You, you can also, you know, choose how, you know, if you want to tilt steer, use a game pad, or you can just, you know, let it do it by itself. Like I'm doing right now, kind of like manual. You can just swipe over here, collect stuff, or whatever it says to do. So, pretty awesome here. But as you see right here, it is very smooth. This little MediaTek processor is doing a very, very good job. And I didn't see any drop frames. I didn't see no problem whatsoever. 
seem to do very well and even the animations there it looks really good so let's go, ahead and go back home here and uh, it takes a few minutes to go back home so right now we'll go into bullet force now i do want to try this out to see how this game plays on this device so i'll set this up and i will come back directly okay y'all so we are here right now on bullet force and uh, so far seems to be pretty smooth uh, run around a little bit here and see what happens and see how it does look. Ooh, getting shot at. Got to get out of the way. And they got me. So I'll try here for a few more seconds here. Uh, try to get a little bit further than I did. Not really pay much attention because I am, you know, not really looking at the screen too awful much. But as you see here, this little MediaTek processor is doing a pretty good job. I have no idea where they're coming from. I'm getting shot at, so it really don't matter. I mean, you're seeing right here how the game looks. I mean, and it's very smooth. Yes, I've not played this game very much, but as you see right here, it does seem to pan around very well without really any hiccups. So I'll play for a few more seconds just to give you just a, a little example here and a little idea of how, you know, this thing will work in general. So, there you go. And honestly, that speaker right there is so easy to cover up whenever you are playing a game. Now, finally, we will go into PUBG Mobile and we'll show you how this works on this device. So, let me get it all set up and I will come back in just a moment. Okay, y'all. So, we are now here on PUBG. And uh, now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it's not going to be this, it's not going to be the smoothest experience on this game don't matter if it's MediaTek don't matter if it is the Snapdragon 450 you know it's not going to be the smoothest experience uh, in the world so uh, let's go ahead and get down to the ground here we'll kind of just run around a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens here and see how the gameplay is I have played a whole session of PUBG on this phone and while it is a bit choppy uh, it's still manageable uh, I've been playing this a lot on the Essential phone. Does a really good job. So, go ahead and hit the ground. All right. So panning around here, as you'll see, we are running here, and you'll see some drop frames. I mean, that's just going to be to that's just to be expected. Let's go ahead and start running around a little bit here, and we'll play this here for a couple of minutes here. But as you see. It does seem to, you know, be fairly smooth uh, without really any hiccups or issues. So, can't really say nothing too negative here about the MediaTek processor in this uh, in this device. Cause, you know, it, it's played every game that I've thrown at it. Only one game that I have downloaded, which is part of Asphalt, um, was very very buggy. Not really sure why. Uh, Spreading around here, I'm trying to just find somewhere to go. Uh, we'll hop in this little car here and drive around and see how that works and everything. Just to, just to give you a little bit of a feel here. And I said it's very, very easy to cover up that bottom firing speaker as well. Uh, tree. <laughs> So, like I say, I mean, the graphics look really good. So, you can't knock that MediaTek MT6750 too bad. Uh, even with 2 gigabytes of RAM, as you see in right here, like I said, a few frame drops here and there. The phone will get hot. It will have its little issues. Like you see right there, it is getting a little bit choppy here and there. But, you know, I even seen some chop on the Essential phone. So, I mean, it's not like it's a perfect phone or, or nothing like that. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but as you see here, it does seem to play pretty good. Now, I will not spend all day here on this. I could spend the whole game right here playing this right here, but I won't because you know, that'll take a while. Um, 
but so far playing through here uh, on PUBG you know seems to do pretty well so I'll play for a few more minutes here a few more seconds and then we'll wrap it up so let's go ahead and exit the car out of here and we'll kind of browse around look around a little bit so but like I said there is gonna be some chop there is gonna be some lag here and there um, but that's to be expected whether you have the MediaTek uh, 6750 or you have the Snapdragon 450 uh, ain't gonna be perfect at all but it will play and it won't handle performance too awful bad so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off there and end it up so going back context a few minutes so that's just a little gaming test that I did want to show y'all here on the Stylo 4 uh, it is a bit warm back here especially up in this area here I feel it getting kind of hot so if you play if you play like a full session of PUBG you probably would get some heating issues going on there so uh, hope this helps a little bit if it did hit that like button any questions leave it below subscribe if you haven't I'd appreciate it y'all have a good one and thanks for watching